What's good, people? It is Saturday, December 19th. Am I correct? Yes. 2020. This video, I have nothing planned to say, and I don't know what I'm going to say, but I feel inspired to speak my mind, to speak my heart, and express myself and connect with anybody who is watching. Also, as a way of therapy, as a way of art, freestyling, um, you know, expressing my soul, my soul's desires and intentions and what we have been observing uh, these recent recent uh, cycles. In 2020, quite a year, right? Everybody's talking about 2020. We all knew it was going to be crazy. Everybody knew it was a 2020 vision. Stuff is going to happen. And of course, stuff is happening. Right? I just want to give before I continue the most high praise to our most high creator which I call Allah I've been taught to that my ancestors called God Allah so I would like to honor my ancestors and, and do what they did because they did something right uh, we have lost my people have lost our religion lost our heritage we don't even know who we are as people anymore so I'm on a journey of, of being taught and, and guided on the back on the right path by my ancestors and my ancestors were pretty powerful people to put it simply powerful by Allah by the guidance of Allah they were prophets they were psychics they are psychics <laughs> like I have to speak in the present tense it's, it's, it's important to be in the present the present is the present and our present now is to grow we have been given the gift of a lot of gifts but what's on my mind right now is the gift of technology, the gift of information, the gift of connecting with other human beings around the whole world, no matter the language, because we can translate to other languages with our technology. This technology where you can speak and it can translate your words to the other people and we have an influx of information at our hands which is something to be happy about and I'm happy about it because let me tell you I have learned a lot with social media I learned a lot with the internet it's amazing the things that we actually don't know the amount things that we actually don't know we look into the world and we see trees and grass and people and cars and buildings concrete we see the sky and the sun and we think we know these things and we do however We've been given so many lies by these black mirrors, by these screens. We've been given so many false images, so many unprovable concepts, just theories about our world and what we see that we have come to believe it and learn to not trust the truth, not to trust our observations and not to trust ourselves
I'm making this video because I'm inspired. I've been inspired lately. How about y'all? Have y'all heard about um, that great conjunction that's happening soon? Uh, today's 19th, so in two days, planets are going to be aligning. And yes, planets always align, right? But this is a great conjunction. I've, I've, I've shown a glimpse of it in one of my videos. That's because I didn't talk about it because I don't know enough about it to talk about it. Like, you know, to educate people on it. But, you know, I just put it out there so you can look into it and be exposed to the information. But I believe, you know, if I'm wrong, correct me. Go look it up yourself. But I believe it is... Um, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto are going to be alighting. Those are the, the big three. Um, and I've also seen that uh, it's going to be all seven planets aligning this uh, this Christmas. Christ mass. Mass Christ. And speaking of Christmas, I know a lot of people when they get on their spiritual journeys and get into their, their highs of of receiving information and knowledge of what these holidays really are or what the you know they're they kind of demonized and there's good and bad in everything but you know I see that you know we, we have been there there are false falsities falsehood with Christmas there's distractions with Christmas but that doesn't take away from the truth about Christmas which is it is a divine time of the year it is kind of a holy time of the year it's a it's a time of the year where things are seemingly dead and it gives way to a new year to a new cycle it has to happen so that something can a new thing, a new world can be birthed out of it. And around this time, this is where we as human beings and a lot of nature goes into uh, solitude. They kind of retract, they get with their families, they are around themselves a lot more. And people are just kind of generally happier around this time of the year. And it's not just because of the holidays. It's because, you know, we gave it that name holidays because we, we saw holy in it. Holy days, holidays. That's why we called it holidays. It is the holidays. It's the holy days of the year. The times that we're not working so much, but... The falsehood and the distraction of that time of, of this time of the year is that through commercial commercial um, intentions, we work more, and we are kind of distracted to not go within ourselves and not do what we naturally do at this time of the year, which is be reflective, Thanksgiving. The um, October, there's something special about that too. But I do know Halloween has turned into is has been turned into commercially has been turned into a demonic thing, where it's to raise the lower self, the demons within you, to make you fear so that you can open yourself to more demons, to more darkness. But there is a ministry of death that is holy. Death itself is an illusion. But what we call death is not an illusion. What we call death is really a transformation. So what we call death, the truth of it is, is that something is going away. Energy is transforming, basically. Something is going away and you could say uh, dissolving. So that something new can be formed out of it. That is what death is. That's what we call death. But death 
is an illusion because it's not real. The way, because the way that we think of death is an illusion. Things don't stop. Energy never dies. So, if the energy never dies, death doesn't exist. Do you understand? Understand to understand and overstand your lower self. At this time of the year, with this great conjunction happening, I I feel like Allah and his his spiritual creations, my family, my spiritual family, my ancestors, my spiritual guides. And I'm saying that because these things are not physical as we understand it. They're not something I can touch. They're not things that they're not beings that I can like, you know, that I can't physically observe but I observe them on a different realm I know I look like I'm high I'm not high guys <laughs> a few of you said I look sleepy I look high I'm like dude that's just how I look man that's how I look but not to digress it's a special time of the year and we need to I, I'm making this video, I feel, so that I can inspire you the way that I am being inspired to do right. I've been feeling good because I've been putting effort into doing right and the more that I do it, the better I feel. Because I have been forgiven, I am forgiven for my past, for the hurt that I've caused other people. You know, I've, I've done good things in my past too. So I'm being rewarded for my past, but I'm also being forgiven for my past so that a new Malik, a new Solomite may fly. Kind of like a butterfly, you know? I saw a post recently that said butterflies can't express ideas to caterpillars because they won't understand they won't understand what it's like to be a butterfly until they transform I thought that was a cool post I'm at the park chilling I haven't done this in a long time because I've been I've, this is the best I felt all year from the 21st of January, man, like, I mean, not the 21st, the 1st of January, which is my birthday, and I have no problem with saying that, people have a problem with saying birthday, I don't have a problem with saying birthday, because I was birthed, my mom birthed me, so that was the day that I was birthed, it's a birthday, but people like to say solar return, my born day, they all, they're all the same thing, it's the day that you were birthed into this world. And the reason, you know, why we say those things is because that's, that's, those are aspects of the truth of that day. Of what happened. It's a solar return because the sun was in a certain place in the sky, cosmically, when you were born that day. And it returns, you know, every cycle on that day. And that is your solar return day. Now, I will say that the calendar that we're on is off a little bit. So it's not exact with... Uh, with the solar the solar clock I'm kind of ranting a little bit but like I said I didn't know what I was going to say in this video I'm just kind of talking expressing myself but yeah I feel this this inspiration within me to just do do right, do good things, do art. My favorite medium of art is music. So I'm inspired to listen to more music, which I haven't been doing. I haven't been... You know, I'm rising up. I'm rising out of my lower self into my higher self at this moment of time. And it feels good. And I want to do more. But we gotta put in the effort. It's important that we put in the effort. 
because like they said with this conjunction that's happening if this is like if this is a thing where we are able to receive knowledge cosmically from from the uh from the universe we need to you know it's never too late eat right meditate work hard with moderation it's what i haven't been doing but i'm making changes i'm making changes to have more moderation so i can have more time for myself so that i can do the things you know so i can give myself time to build on my personal projects on my personal self and give myself that that rest that i need i haven't been feeling like eating a lot lately either which is different than the rest of this year and again i kind of connected to this 2020 holy days something is going on guys and I want to capitalize I want to use this time to uh, this conjunction and whatever's going on this coronavirus stuff I want to use this to actually propel me into the the spiritual heights that I've always wanted to be at doesn't mean I'm just going to get there this year. That means that I'm going to be on that path. Propel me onto that path. Momentum. You know, get that kinetic energy going. And build on that momentum. Let your light shine. I hope this is inspiring you. Too, because to be inspired means to let your light shine. Your light is ignited. You always have light, but your light can dim. Your light can dim from your thoughts and your actions and your energy. Heart math. Look that up if you never heard of that. You gotta. I've been receiving messages that I need to think more from my heart. I think too much from my head. And I see reasons why. I looked at my zodiac chart and my moon is in Aries my personality thing for Myers Briggs is that I am an INTP introvert intuitive thinking perceiving person I do a lot with my head but I've been receiving messages to do with my heart do more of my heart think more of my heart feel with my heart and have a balance between the two I'm inspired to get my chakras aligned like I said it's never too late the present is a present so you can do it now whenever you have the thought you can do it now but things manifest on a spiritual realm first before they manifest into the physical they, they manifest on the spiritual first crown chakra pull from the spiritual the heavens the cosmos they call it the heavens for a reason up is up down is down up is up down is down it would never change it will always be up it doesn't matter where you are you can be in heaven you can be wherever you are up is going to be up and down is going to be down so the heavens is always up our higher self is always up and we manifest things from the spiritual and then into different the, the the higher realms and then it comes down through those higher realms from infinite amount of dimensions you could say the a millionth dimension there's an infinite amount of dimensions but it manifests down from those dimensions into our dimension which is a 3d dimension and so because of that it takes a while for things to actually come into our dimension it takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of work Stay diligent. Stay consistent. Be your higher self now and do it all the time. And you will start to climb that ladder of salvation.
you will climb that Jacob's ladder to heaven, to the place that you've always wanted to be. Stop distracting yourself. I just downloaded a new game onto my phone and it's distracting me a little bit, but I like it. <laughs> I, I did it so I can release some stress just because, you know, like I said, I haven't been listening to music. I don't watch TV. I don't watch movies anymore. I used to watch movies, but I got tired of watching movies because I saw, like, this, they just weren't entertaining me anymore. There was a, like, it happened with video games. Video games just stopped entertaining me because it was just so repetitive and the creativity got lost into video games. And the same thing happened with movies. The creativity of movies got lost. I really do believe that the, the 90s was a golden era for my generation it was a golden era man like our cartoons were good our movies were good our music was good like it doesn't matter what genre it was everything was good finance was good fashion was dope i say dope in a good sense because they say dope for drugs but you know they use they use the word dope because it makes you feel good duh it's dope but don't abuse drugs though. Everything in moderation. You gotta be balanced. That is how your chakras get aligned. And I would like to have my chakras aligned so that when this event happens and these planets align, hopefully my chakras be, will be aligned. And there is, presently my chakras are aligned but not in this dimension though, to be realistic, to be truthful with myself. On this timeline, my chakras are not aligned, but there is a timeline existing right now where my chakras are way aligned and they stay aligned. So props to my higher self, honors to you. I meant that when I said that, oh my goodness. Thank you, higher self. And what is your higher self? Do you guys know what your higher self is? You gotta study if you don't know. You're missing out. If you're watching too many movies, you're missing out. Movies are not gonna give you the truth half the time. <laughs> that's why they're so good. Because they give you half truth, half lies. But that's just how, you know, humans are though. We were created that way. We are strangely mixed with truth and falsehood. So the higher self, if you don't know, I'll give you a little hint, but like I said, study. You gotta go study for yourself. Don't take anything I say as truth because you're a fool if you do. And uh, I don't want you to be a fool. So listen to inf information. That's why this is a golden era. Not a, well, it's not a golden era, but this information age, this iron age that we're in, is it's a it's a present. You know, there's good things about it. We have information at our hands. So research um, the higher self. Research spirituality because when you read spiritual books and spiritual writings, no matter where it's from, you're always going to get. This, there's going to be things that resonate you that, that unlock DNA codes within you. It, uh, it unlocks a remembrance within you that's always trying to speak to you. It's always trying to be like, hey, remember this? Hey, this, you need to do this. This is how things are. Remember? Remember? You know, remember? And we have these spiritual rights that help us remember because we love ourselves that much. Our higher selves love ourselves that much that we're like hey i don't want to forget this have you ever watched that movie um i think it was called memo or something like that but it was a guy the reason why i'm referencing that is because the main character he had uh, a case where he kept for, like time was repeating over and over again and every time it would repeat he would forget what happened but then he he noticed the way that he noticed something was happening because these clues were telling him that hey you keep repeating this you need to stop so he got you know that's what the whole movie is about so the plot thickens there 
where he has to go on his journey and figure out what's happening but it's his height it's himself that is leaving behind notes to remind himself you know how to get out of the situation and I you know that's that's a, a analogy or allegory to how we are how our higher selves is to our lower selves we do things to descend but there's a certain part of ourselves that doesn't descend at all it stays there it stays up there it stays high high off life no drugs needed so to give you a hint about the higher self the higher self is Allah is God it is a most high creator most high higher self you are co-creator with God I'm careful to say you are God because of the ego thing because we be ego tripping sometimes if you tell somebody that they're God and they start to believe it they start tripping you ain't no I mean you are God but you're not God bro you're a co-creator with God that's how I feel I say that to humble myself and to keep myself in place to maintain that balance and not to go extreme but Allah is within us the nearest place you can meet Allah is in the heart honors to my ancestors and our religion for teaching me that to keep that in my mind that the heart is the balance is the center of all things it's why the chakra is green the heart chakra is green and what do you see in nature you see balance you see life cycles you see what we call death you see life and death simultaneously when you look into the ground you see dead things you see dead leaves you see dead bugs you see death but then you also see life springing out of that death and what does it do it becomes green with chlorophyll you ever heard of green people green people exist and they're green because they're in balance they're letting their height shine through they're letting the center of their being the center of our whole universe the source as some people call it maintain that balance within them and that chlorophyll is green vibration wise because color is a physical vibration that we see with these two physical eyes is on the vibration of balance is on the vibration of love is on a vibration of freedom is on the vibration of moderation is on the vibration of peace when you look at a tree they just there look at this you see the tree behind me right look at this tree it's just there and let me tell you I'm gonna start meditating next to trees again too to help with my spiritual growth as I was talking about you know there's a lot of things that we can do to uh, to heighten our spiritual vibration and these trees and these these grass these things that you see they are vibrating on really high levels naturally because that's how they were made I feel like this tree is looking at me now <laughs> I feel like it was minding his own business, but now it's like, it's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I was talking about, tree. Oh man, but trees talk to you though. So one thing to do to give you a tip: meditate next to trees. Put your back against the tree, so that your spine can be touching the tree and your head. You know, so you're so it can give you the energy that you need on whatever point, whatever chakras point in your body that you need you know but you give that love back to the tree you just don't take from it the tree will give to you but I had a tree get angry at me one time and it was undeniable anger I was like whoa <laughs> that 
that's how I know trees can talk to me. I'm like, what? I mean, there's other ways that they talk to you too, but when I felt that, I was like, this tree is angry with me. It does not want me near it at all. It's like, get away from me. I'm like, okay, tree. But that's because I did something, I did something bad next to the tree. And then it was like, don't do that. Over here, you disgusting little pe person. And I was like, oh, you're watching. That's nice. We think they're dead, but they're alive. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was gonna stop at 30, but I'm just gonna continue for a little bit. I hope you guys are enjoying this, this talk. I hope you're getting something out of it. I'm definitely getting something out of it. You know, you gotta keep the vibes high. At my job, they, uh, my, the, when I say job, it's, it's a place where I, you know, serve my community. That's what a job is. And I say that from my experience of living. I used to not like having a job, like, you know, how some people say, uh, you know, forget a nine to five. I'm not getting a nine to five. I understand what they're saying, but there's nothing wrong with serving your community. Now there's levels to it, you know, there's a lot of things that's wrong with it. There's a lot of ways that people try to take advantage of other people. So the system is a little corrupt, but you know, you would be working anyways. So, you know, just do, do something to, that you enjoy doing to help somebody else, to help out other people, to help out your community. Doesn't matter what it is. As long as you like it and you, you love it, you enjoy it, you're in the right place for you. So at my job, they play music that is, you know, a lot of that trap rap stuff to keep people hype while they're working. And it kind of, it really kind of bothers me that, you know, that I'm working at a job that, that does that. Um, I'm there because strictly because of the, the finance, because of the wage is good. I've never been paid so much in my life and that's not an understatement <laughs> and I'm grateful for it. It might not be a lot to some people, but it's a lot to me. It's a lot for me. I've never, like I said, never been paid so much. So I'm there for that reason, but, uh, I know I'm not going to have that job forever, but I do enjoy being there and, but one thing I don't like is the music that they play because it's so like they'll be playing like like I don't know who it is but I think it's the baby like he has this song it's some rapper but he, there's a song where they're uh well they play WAP right they play that song and then they play um they play like you know sex songs sex, songs about sex but it's not like good sex it's perverted sex it's not sex with love it's it's, it's lustful sex it's nasty sex it's degrading sex type of music you know it's not that good stuff that stuff that makes you go have you ever felt that before this is for adults only I guess but yeah when you had that good stuff man woo, it's all up here you like what is happening to me I want to feel that again like let me do it right let me let me take my time you gotta take your time guys for the fellas out there that are listening you gotta take your time women too but women i noticed too they can start rushing too you know they can when they get into it they they want it like bad they want it like i want it now it's like no wait 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 wait. you know let this build you know when you're when you're in those when you're in those um when you're sharing your your body with somebody else you gotta be patient with each other you got to know that you're working towards something because it's not just for the pleasure that's not what sex is for that's not why we have sex while we have sex is for the spiritual growth of each other the spiritual enlightenment of each other because by ourselves as like for example as a man by yourself you can never experience certain things on this earth and within yourself 
without a female companion. Positive and negative. Together, magnets. Magnetism is electrifying. Electrifying. Man, electrifying. When you get a woman by herself, she can never experience certain things without a male companion because it's positive and negative. So, you know, I don't want to go into more details about it, but that's that's just the gist and you know, out of that creates life. More life comes. So much so that a whole nother body is created. Crazy, right? Not so crazy. Because we can do more. There's more amazing things that our body can do. Um, I hope I didn't get off track of what I was saying. Oh yeah, the music at my job. Um, you know, they just play a sex music and stuff, and not just but that, but it really bothers me because like it's lowering, like it's lowering. Like I don't like listening to it because I know that it's affecting me on some level. Even though I know it's not good music, I know it's demonic. And when I say demonic, I mean of the lower self. It's nothing scary. It's just a reality of our world. You know, we we have a we have the ability to dim our lights, and that's what this stuff does. It lowers our vibration when you. Because, you know, if you, like tuning forks, you put a tuning fork next to another fork that's not tuning, you know, like a, a tuning fork that's already vibrating and you put it next to another one, the other one is going to start vibrating just by being next to it. And that's how we are as, as people, as, you know, as living beings. We vibrate, we feel the vibration of everything around us. We feel what amplitude, what vibe, you know, what rate what hurts is this person vibrating on the from the thoughts but it's like it's a whole bunch of vibrations happening at once not just one vibration there's a radial radiation vibration linear 2d vibration uh, sound vibration you know all types of vibrations but they're all happening at the same time and they're all affecting each other and hitting each other and uh you know when waves hit they either destruct construct or balance each other or cancel each other out and that's constantly happening all the time so the higher vibration that you're on the more positive effect that you're going to feel first of all and your other bodies are going to feel and then everything else around you is going to start to feel that too that's why it's important to always be in the higher self and put in the effort of being better when you're interacting with people when you're interacting with your environment when you're interacting with your mother nature earth when you're interacting with the sun you give it your higher self because the sun's always in his higher self right i don't know if the sun has a lower self uh i can kind of hypothesize and get philosophical on that but uh, you know i feel like there's certain things in this world that that can't go that can't be bad there's certain things in this, in this in this world that can only be bad, like stealing. Stealing is never good, ever. And a stealing demon is never good. And I would like for my job to play. I'm just kind of summing up my thoughts so I can move on. But I would like my job to play more positive music. So I had write a, wrote a complaint about that. And guess what? I wasn't embarrassed about it you know we have to have that courage man to actually enforce the truth enforce love and put out love we got to do stuff you know can't just be little coward little people all the time be like I don't I don't know what they're gonna think about me you know what I do at my job we have these things that we write on all the time and so sometimes I be writing stuff that that help elevate people's consciousness like the truth will set you free. And I'll just write it in a random place. Just so somebody can see it. I'll write the earth is flat. On something. Just so somebody can see it. I don't care what they think about it. Because I know. That there's going to be truth. There's this love and intent. 
when I do that so I know it's going to affect somebody it's going to affect somebody in a positive way and it's going to affect me in a positive way because I'm putting it out there so since I'm putting it out there I am co-creating a better reality a better a more high vibrational environment so be the light and do it now because you already are and you can be more you can always be more infinitely more so do it now don't do it later don't be like I'm gonna start on Monday today is Saturday I'm gonna start on Monday because things are easier when I do it all. no do it now so that when Monday comes and it is easier you can level up even more it's not a game People say it's a game. This is not a game. But it is fun. Sometimes it's not fun. Because it gets hard. Like a game. You know, we play games because it models life. There's an art in making games, guys. Even board games, card games, there's an art in creating games. People, do you know that there's people that just create games and create puzzles? There's an art to it. And if it's an art, it's, a, it's an expression of the soul. And if it's an expression of the soul, it is a reflection of life. So life is like a game, but it's not a game. Take this junk seriously. <laughs> very, very seriously. One of the songs that were playing at my job was that the hook was that uh, your love is like suicide. And it's supposed to be like a lovey-dovey song, like one of those trap rap lovey-dovey songs. It's like, your love is like suicide. I was like, suicide? This life is not a game, guys. Don't, don't commit suicide. It's okay to think about it. But think about it from, in, with the intent of the higher self. Think about it from that perspective. Don't think about it with the lower self. When you're sad and you start to think about, I don't want to be here anymore, you're depressed and you're like, I just want to die. Death is an illusion because when you, when you actually kill yourself, you're, you're not really, you're not doing anything. You're doing a lot of harm to yourself and to the people around you, honestly. So that's why it's not good to kill yourself because you're not going to die. You're just going to continue living on with the knowledge that, oh, I just ended my life prematurely. I didn't actually complete my mission. I didn't I didn't actually learn the lessons I was supposed to learn in this life that I was given. I was given certain characteristics, I was given a family, I was given a certain environment that was conducive for me learning these lessons to help my soul grow. But I ended that early. I quit the game. It's like a game, right? So I quit the game early, but now I can't go back to the game. It's like one of those games that you that you can only play once. And the only way to get through it is to stick to it because the truth of the matter is is that it's not a game and it's just gonna keep going. That's why it's so important to be in your higher self and not be in your lower self and do the right thing. Like Spike Lee said, right? But he sold out. But there's good and bad in everything. Do the right thing. I said it's good and bad and everything, but, you know, hey, I don't know everything. I just, I, I try to, I try to speak as much truth as I can, though. Oh, man. How y'all feel? Oh, it's a good day. Saturn day. Saturn day. The Sabbath. Yesterday was my holy day because my ancestors and with the religion of Islam and Islamism, their holy day is a Friday. So since those are my ancestors, I honor them and do the same thing that they did because it did good for them. So it should do good for me. My holy day was Friday, which was yesterday. And it helped me come into this good feeling of today being Saturn day. Saturn was the ruler of my... Uh, 
was was is the ruler of my zodiac sign which is you know the sun was in capricorn um at the time that i was born and so i have a lot of saturn's energy uh in my personality so it's a good day every saturday is a good day every day is a good day make every day a holiday but i just wish y'all guys a merry merry holiday holidays and maybe a good one from christmas to new year's eve thanksgiving halloween all that good stuff all the good stuff within that good stuff okay i feel like i got my point out and um i'm gonna continue my day and take everything that i just put out into you into this universe and let it cycle back to me because i'm gonna go and put in that effort like i just said to do right for example my mom hasn't been eating healthily so i'm gonna go to her and i'm gonna bring it up and i'm gonna actually show her that i'm gonna put in effort in creating a system so that we can start tracking our uh how we're eating and, and, and how well our nutrition is together because she already is healthy now she's a beautiful woman she's already like she's already healthy now right but in this current state to be realistic she's not healthy because of the things that she's done in her past right so you know I'm not the healthiest either uh, like I said I haven't been eating that much but still I haven't been eating good I haven't been, um, I stopped eating meat. That's, ooh, I'm glad you're still here to watch this. Stop eating meat. Stop eating it. Stop. When I say meat, I mean dead flesh. I mean flesh of things that we killed. Stop eating it. It's not good energy. It slows you down. And let me tell you, every time I stop eating flesh of, of things, of, of, of beings that we have killed, Every time I stop doing that, I feel better. I start just immediately feeling better. My energy, I can handle it more. I don't get tired. I don't feel dragging. You know, I don't feel fat. I hate feeling fat. Junk sucks. So stop. Eat better, man. Eat better. Drink better. I haven't been drinking a lot of water, but I got to start drinking water. And that's one of the first things I told my mom. Is like The first step to being healthier... Well, first is your mind, but physically, drink water. Drink some freaking water, man. That stuff is good. So, uh, I just wanted to, you know, like I said, express myself and talk to who anybody is listening. And um, if you like to connect, we can connect. Uh, I don't expect that, you know, we will be friends, but we can be friends. But let's not force it, right? Just gotta, uh, you know, respect each other and, and let let everybody have their own beliefs, their own, their own thoughts, their own opinions, their own lives. And we're just here to help each other out and get to that place. And that's the unity of life. That is the unity of this world unity of all religions that's why all religions are different because we're different everybody is different so with that i say peace this is your boy solo my fly my name is malik mcgee bay hey bay bay all right um i don't know if i'm gonna go eat i'm not really that hungry but I've been feeling like fasting, so this might be the day I fast. Only thing I had today was some coffee. And I only did that so I can get some energy. I don't really like drinking coffee because like it, I feel like it takes energy away from you. After it gives you energy, it takes energy away from you. But anyways, I'm going to go. I don't want to go, but I'm going to go. All right. You guys have a good day. And, um, you know. I wish you the best of luck in your in your journey of life and because I know you're gonna win.
you just gotta put some thought into it some some effort into it align those chakras and be great do what you love figure out what you love if you don't know that's a problem that i see okay i'm gonna go with this last thing i'm gonna say that's a, that's one of the problems that i see a lot with people especially young people i ask them what they like to do they don't don't know they don't know what they like to do that's a common answer i don't know what i like to do i just like to you know watch shows i'll just like to play video games and i'm like well man you need to figure that out because you know you time is infinite but this life is not infinite like this what i'm talking about is like this experience in this body like this body is going to go one day your body is going to go one day it's going to it's going to go back to the earth and be like bye it was nice serving you i hope you learned a lot now i'm gonna go back to where i came from which is the dirt and you're going to continue living on and your soul's going to do the same thing because your soul is not you your soul is not infinite your soul is also finite it's going to end one day and your soul is going to go back to where it came from which you know on the, the on the plane of soul on the soul plane the fourth dimension or something like that fifth dimension you know they have a different place that it come from i don't really know what that is but it's made of something else of some type of other energy and it's going to go back to where it came from it's going to be like bye it was it was nice serving you had a fun time i hope you learned a lot i'm gonna go do and serve somebody else and help somebody else with their journey and then you're just you know and then you keep climbing you keep climbing you keep climbing but you can't keep climbing if you don't put the intention into it aim it's one of my programs that i'm going to create affirmations intentions and meditation those are the keys to your growth because how can you not grow if you don't say your affirmations how can you not grow if you don't intend on growing and how can you not grow i mean if you intend on growing and how can you not grow if you're not medit if you're meditating and to help you guys out i know that i got to be the example to myself first so that whoever is watching and whoever is looking whoever is in my space will feel that and be inspired so that i can be inspired by them this is how this works but i know with me right now i gotta start there it's the unity of life if you want to make a change in the world the way you do it is by doing it now and with yourself be better be kinder love more i made a i made a beat called that you can go look it up milky smooth on soundcloud i also have it on youtube so if you're on youtube you can look it up love more um i just want i just wanted to say that because you know you might you might get something out of it um and i made it with love with the intent of loving more uh so yeah go go listen to that song if you like i i really enjoy that 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 uh beat that i made it's an instrumental song i call them songs because just because there's not words on it it's still a song you know like it's still like there's 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 a theme and, and you know there's a whole world that that's created with that so it's a song with verses and a chorus and everything it's just no not a, it's not a lot of words though but somebody uh that that beat made somebody cry before um and that's that's when i realized the power of music when somebody did that and i was like whoa what are you feeling what is this beat making you feel i don't know but you know it 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 triggered something in them and i'm like and it and it, it, what was even cooler is the fact that it didn't have a lot of words in it so I'm like, wow, like this music is really speaking to them right now. So I don't take credit for that. That's all Allah. That's all the God. It's the light within us, the heart, the center of our being that we all connect with. So go get that green. You know, that's why money is green and all good things tend to be green. And I will see you guys. Later. Peace.